Hey, Don here. Okay, well, I wanted to report on this script that I just tried to run. It's just sitting there not doing anything after 10 or 20, 15 minutes. Uh, <clears throat> is there a time in there as to when I stopped it or anything? I don't think so. What this is, is a, uh, it's a little desktop recording strip that uses VLC. <clears throat> Show it here. Uh, <clears throat> I found it. I found it the other day. I, pretty, I think it's the exact same script uh, on a Fedora help site uh, about you know uh, recording on uh, Linux, Fedora, <clears throat> and uh, what's and then I found it. Well, actually, that was the same day when I found this video, and this is towards the end of it. And this video is by Amit Afadi. I believe I can say that. Usually I can't say names like that. <clears throat> Probably didn't do well, but... <clears throat> and here's his GitHub page. He put a link to it. I'm going to guess this is the original script, and the other one... Well, it could be his script. It could be uh, some, <clears throat> someone. Let's find out. Yeah, let's see if I can find it again. Um, I think this is where I put it. That's about VLC itself, in case you don't know what VLC is. These are the links to what I just showed. <clears throat> and uh, I may have put those links somewhere else. There, yeah, that's it. Okay, so... Uh, and look at these. VLC, Video Land. <clears throat> It's, a, it's not just a player, it can record, it can convert a video, it can uh, live stream, do a lot of things. <clears throat> it's, but it can be a little tricky to get things working because it can do so much. It's so many features. It runs on Windows, Linux, uh, maybe X, OS X, is that Mac? Uh, Linux, I know, I know the little... Uh, Linux icon, <clears throat> can't say whatever the darn thing that lives up in the cold place. Like a bird, but it's like a seal with, with wings. But anyway, <clears throat> uh, Android and iOS. So uh, <clears throat> it's uh, a favorite player. And sometimes I do, you know, other. I used to use it a lot for making videos. It's funny, when it was older and it was... They have a wizard in there now that makes it look easier, but it never it doesn't ever work unless you, you really still know what how I used to know how to set it before MP4 came out back when it was MPEG. Let's see, an MPEG I think MP3 was where uh, MPEG well, MP3s were out, but what I meant was MPEG3. Uh, <clears throat> I could let's see. Yeah, it does get confusing. MP3 is for audio only. MP4 video. So I guess it was MPEG and then it went to MP4. So it seemed like there was something in between. But anyway, I used to make MPEG videos uh, back with a Windows 98 machine. This XP here. And uh, I could, uh, and this was when I had faster machines than that. I would use, uh, <clears throat> you could, but it would run on those and you could do it. And uh, anyway, uh, I had, those were uh, Pentium 3s, and I, but I had a Pentium 4. I'm trying to think if I had anything newer than yeah, I didn't. I had Pentium 4. I think was the newest thing. I had. Uh, but anyway, <coughs> I rigged up some webcams on some two old uh, Pentium 3 machines and made a whole week's worth of videos outside working on my truck one <coughs> using VLC, and it actually was used the lowest overhead. Uh, <coughs> and uh, you know. Uh, of any of the video recorders I, I knew of it. That was before I got into Linux, or before, I might have been into it. No, I wasn't even, I was even. So anyway, uh, this is the, uh, get the other page opened. Oh, VLC and how, I guess I didn't get the other. Here's where I originally found it, here. Uh, <coughs> now, this little, uh, well, this says if you have Genome 3, but uh, this is a, this is Fedora. 
Ask Fedora Project. And the page, the page here is how can I capture video of my screen in Fedora or a desktop video, a screencast, things they call them. <clears throat> what I'm doing right now. And uh, anyway, uh, they're showing you. You know, this is old enough. They're using YUM instead of DNF. Of course, you you can it, you can use DNF install and uh, get VNC. Not sure what the C is. Switch in front of it, but uh, well, that's a group. Yeah, with the with the little e the single parentheses. I actually think those kind of command uh, that group install will work with regular parentheses too. But anyway, like it shows it right there. <coughs> and uh, yeah, that one might be good because that's a group. I had noticed that the other day because uh, that'll get everything you need. If you go in, you can go into DNF for Agora. You know, if you're in the newer versions, 23 or so and up. I'm on 28 right now on this one. Uh, you're going to have to search there and make sure you get... Uh, you'll get VLC, the player and all, but you, there's just some, some really good add-ons you won't get if you don't install by the group. So, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to try that in a minute. Just to see if I'm missing anything that I like. Um... But here's how to do it in the GUI, and that's fine, except for it uses a lot of resources. I'm running a Pentium 4 with the uh, Pentium 4. I'm running a Lenovo, uh, I, it's, I call it the Lenovo i5. Lenovo computer, little, little desktop, little uh, enterprise desktop style computer. with. A, it's got an i5 processor, quad core, and 4 gig of RAM, but it has terrible video. It's only 256 megabyte of onboard video. <clears throat> wasn't meant for doing that. <laughs> wasn't meant for doing things like this really so uh, but it will do like OBS I'm using it I use it all the time uh, <clears throat> and it'll do desktop recordings but you can't uh, push it you know you and so anyway uh, every time I have done any desktop recording with uh, VLC number one I couldn't figure out how to get the audio to record and number two uh, it just worked the machine too hard. You couldn't go over 10 minutes, most. Logging it for me. But, uh, see if this tells you. I'm talking about a script and I'm looking through this. That's what I saw first. But anyway, let's see. Yeah, I don't think they're telling you how to do it with audio because what I've figured out is, uh, and that all these detailed instructions, uh, I don't remember if I tried them or not. I, I tried to use them to change the script a little bit to get more or more what I wanted out of it because, you know, uh, and see there's, and it's for an MPEG and all that, but actually I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> but these things are important uh, for whether or not it'll work, these parts right here. Every bit of it really is. You're going to get it to work in, uh, well, let's just say in Fedora. Uh, and then there's some comments that are worth reading this, this, this page because uh, they tell, sometimes they tell things like, uh, hey, here's the script. And I believe it's exactly the same script. It sure looks like it um, that I just ran from this page. Uh, yeah, see, this is somebody else that just put it in there. I don't know if he mentioned. Well, I don't know. He wrote it, and the other guy copied it. I mean, who knows? But, <clears throat> um, it's all free. You know, they're giving it away free, and it's, they're giving it away in an open source style. So. Uh, on an open source website, so I don't think they're worried about it. But, and of course, he did on his on his video and on his uh, GitHub page. So, um, but I didn't uh, I didn't I, I didn't think about it till I uh, double clicked on it and started it. And well, I was going to run it in the in the terminal, and I got an error, and it's because I forgot to to run any shell script. You type dot forward slash and then the shell script name. Well, I just typed it. I just put in the shell script name and hit enter. Well, I got an error, and it didn't tell me what was wrong, you know. So anyway, the way you stop this script, and I guess most scripts, and pretty much, probably any script, I would imagine, hit Control C on the keyboard. But you got to be in the terminal to do that. If you start it um, just by double clicking on the file, oh, got it running up here. Yeah, I'm gonna let it run for a while and see. I don't think it's gonna finish. I think it's just hung up. It could be that it's working, you know, in the background, <clears throat> but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll let it run a little longer this time. Um, 
since it's not recording anymore it's just trying to it should be getting ready what it should what it should do did it once but i uh it asked me do out just like it's supposed to back over here the end of the script right here it'll say uh it'll pop up a little message in the terminal saying uh, do you want you know to encode it to webm and i put i typed in yes and hit enter because i thought well that's what i probably should do then a little then after i did i thought maybe i should have Error. <clears throat> and it errored out and didn't work. And uh, but then every other time I've ran it, well, this is the third time I've ran it. And like I said, this the one I'm running right now is I think the same. I'm I'm not good at I can't read this and just tell if it's the same as this one by just reading it. I, I, even if I opened up side by side, I couldn't tell for sure. <clears throat> it's too many characters for me. Once I get a, I actually can't compare five numbers hardly, barely, you know, together. To get all that much stuff and all i can do is kind of look at it as an overview like you look at a picture i can kind of tell <clears throat> but anyway um um let's see i can kind of remember some things wondering about the he's using ffm peg live vorbus AK, AC, ecodic live Live VPX. I think these might be different codecs. I said I can't do it now. Watch me do it. And that's cool. <clears throat> Let's see. Four of us. The VPX. I remember I just I do remember that. I, now here, that may be different. I guess there, now here's how I usually find out these sort of things. Copy. Go to the other page. Find. Look in there first. Find. Paste. There it is. Okay, they're identical. <laughs> that's how you can I can find those things out. Okay, that's identical. Now let's see. Of course that part, well let's see. Identical. I'll just do sections at a time. Trying to do yep. <clears throat> okay, that's identical. Why well, I didn't think it Um, that's identical. Okay, let's see if the whole script is identical. Because that's what I suspect. If it is, then uh, the reason I went ahead and downloaded this one, I don't know if you, yeah, you can, oh, it is. It's identical. The only thing I didn't get was the uh, number sign one of the uh, <clears throat> bin bash and you do need that to make a normally the number sign is a is commenting something out but when you're making a shell script that that's what turns it into a script basically well i mean that whole thing but you need the number sign or, or it won't run oh i just lied didn't i one ran i always thought you had to have that number sign to make it. and just fine when i just ran Except for it didn't work right, <laughs> but it, it wouldn't have ran at all if that caused a real problem. Let me see if that is on his. Yeah, the number sign is there, so I should have it there. So I'm going to delete this one. I really didn't plan on leaving that one there anyway. I have one in this folder in my downloads. Edit that. Thing. Yep, the number sign is missing. I know it matters. So, uh, but see, the other one has, well, I guess it has it, unless I messed up. Uh, yeah, it's making me wonder if, uh, over here and go see if I did that in the, maybe it didn't copy properly, because you see, I noticed that when I was copying earlier, all these numbers didn't want to copy, because they're like hidden. I think they're actually, it's the way this page is formatted. But that looks like it would copy. Let's see if it did on hit. Spot. That looks like it would copy. I probably just missed it. Okay. <clears throat> but they are identical, so. Um, YouTube, that'll help. You know, it works so hard. Um, go back over here. Yeah, I don't think that's work going to work, so I'm going to close it. Now it should uh, it didn't even make a video 
Should be a video in that folder. Oh, that's the wrong folder now. Got out of it. Thought it was going to make a video. No, there they are. Yeah. Okay, so I, I had that. That's why I had that script. You put it, whatever folder you have that script in, that's where it'll make your video. And I wanted it to be made in that video. Now you can still combine those. Let's see if they play. They just have a aid on here. Okay, trying out a website. I mean, a Fedora Linux help website. So the audio works. <clears throat> yep, video works. And so uh, what I did before is I used VLC and the GUI to combine them. I guess I'll do that in a minute. It doesn't take very long. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, before I forget, get in the on the back of drive. Now here's where I made my folder. I just I just put all this stuff in the folder a while ago. So. Uh, let's see. There's why I edited it. I tried to make it uh, make an MP4 instead of a WebM. The WebM is what it's. There's the original one that I made the first time when I copied from the Fedora site. Now it has the number sign in front of the bin bash. So. Um, it should be fine. <clears throat> well, you know, since that's what I was running, is that let's go. Okay, this one up here. Yeah, now let's view this one. Now let's see if they're both. The same. Doesn't have the bin bash yet. We need to edit that. Yeah, because this was. It'll get fixed next time I, I back up things. But Fix it now. Okay. Yeah. That one's just view only, so I can't mess it up by accident. Yep, they're the same. Now they're both exactly the same. So I don't expect one to run any better than the other. <coughs> um. <coughs> so. Yeah, I thought that would could be, uh, and I thought it could be cool. And I was also looking for, uh, all, other reason why I was looking for something like that was because uh, I was thinking about buying, a, I have a, a Raspberry Pi B, and I've been thinking about buying a camera for it for a long time. And uh, they have lots of tutorials on how to, you know, run the, uh, make video, get them to record videos in the command line and everything. And I, some of them don't use VLC, they use another program. And it, this would seem to be plain and simple, and all you had to do is execute it. So, and it is, I mean, except for it's not making the file right, <coughs> but uh, the WebM. But um, anyway, I thought I might be able to run that and install VLC and then run it on the. I did see a, video, a couple of videos where somebody did that. Uh, and it's probably the same basic thing as the. Actually, theirs was working right, so I'd probably copy theirs and not this one. But uh, I just, I thought, well, and also thought I might, I could use it on this machine. Right now, VL, uh, OBS Studio records videos perfectly as it ha always has, but every time I click start stream, it crashes. Uh, and I've been trying desperately to fix that. I haven't worked on it in a couple of days, <clears throat> but uh, uh, I don't imagine it's gotten fixed. I mean, it may get an update any time, you know, and get fixed. But I think it's a bug, that's why I say that. But anyway, um, yeah, if you want to uh, combine these files. Oh, and this is what I figured out. The reason I wasn't getting any audio with my, with the, when you set up a VLC stream, <clears throat> open up VLC. You set up a VLC stream uh, just by going to uh, open capture device, Actually, you might want to do, let's just say we want to do convert and save. That way you know you're saving a file. And then you open a capture device, and you can do, that's what's available by default. And if I, I don't have a webcam plug in, if I did, it would it would pick my webcam, but desktop. Okay, pick desktop. And <clears throat> now in these instructions, I've tried playing around with the frames per second. And I think the only one I could get to work was one, but and it looked fine though. It didn't seem to be a problem, as far as the way it looked. And you get more options by clicking that box there. 
Um, get out of the page, didn't it? Okay, let's get back in our page. How can I? There we go. I've been wanting to look at that anyway. Oh yeah, I was thinking about doing that, <clears throat> but right now we'll just uh, go through these instructions. Now that's basically what I did. Uh, the way I did it is, yeah, to me, the easiest way to get there. They've got a little bit of way of getting. There. They say make it 25 frames per second desktop. So let's try 25 and see if it'll even let you do that. 25.00. It puts the dots in. If it, yeah, if you can change it with that up and down arrow, and then it's, and it, it's still, it doesn't, it's not out of the range or anything. I wouldn't bother with the, you know, any of the caching or anything unless you know what you're doing. <clears throat> and there is, a, you can do a start and stop time if you. Uh, in the convert window, add the destination file via the browse. That's down here. Now you can just click that if you started with convert and save like I did. Otherwise you may end up needing to go like here and go convert. That way you know for sure you're getting convert if you source screen convert. I wouldn't display output because unless your machine is like an A core and above <laughs> or maybe a six core with lots of RAM more than four gig like eight plus. <clears throat> um Okay, and uh, we have destination file. The convert window, there it is. Convert destination file. Right down there. Have to do that. Um, they're saying do test. You give it whatever name. And it does require a file extension. It goes by that. It goes whatever file extension you give it. I already knew that, but if you didn't, you know. And change the profile to H264 AACTS. Okay, now it's on MP4 by default, so let's do that. They've got that in an order from the way it is in the program. Uh, H264. That is a possibility. The MP3 TS. AAC TS. I'll go ahead and do MP3 TS. MP3 is much more widespread, uh, you know, usable. So uh, evidently in this in this version, which probably quite a bit. Well, yeah, because that was saying yum, right? Install yum install. So that's a very old instruction. So. Uh, but I guess TS would be better than MP4. It's because TS is made for uh, streaming. So MP4 streams, but if you stop, if anything happens to interrupt it, it breaks the file. And maybe I don't know if TS will get broken or not. I know one thing, FLV won't. And that's what I've been using for one. That's one of the reasons why it uses FLV, which is flash video. Is that in there? In there. It used to be. I do not see it. <clears throat> uh, FLV is not in LC anymore. I guess it's not supported, or maybe you have to add an add-on or something because FLV is owned by. Well, let's see who owns Flash now. I don't remember. I've already forgot. So, MPEG is owned by Microsoft, and they're using that. So I don't know. Well, of course, not popular anymore. I never liked it. I never used it. I always used MP4, actually. I tried to use, you know, BP8, WebM, and, and Aug Vorbis, Theora. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, they they weren't as good a quality of file for the smaller, and a smaller file size like MP4 was. So I, I, I just got to where I used MP4. I started out with, you know, MPEG videos. That's what I learned with. Well, that and real audio. Remember real audio and real video? Still around actually. <clears throat> it's a proprietary format though. Maybe I think you can still use some of it for free. 
Anyway, I'm going to do, I'm looking, looking, because I can look through lists and miss things so easy. Just exactly what I'm looking for. I do not see. That's the end of that. They've shortened that. That used to be a lot more choices. That's just recent in the last year or so. Okay, so, and they have H.265, but I've, I've read recently that uh, that is much more problematic for doing this top stream. Stick with that one right there. That's the closest thing to uh, H.264. <coughs> we'll do MP3 TS. And um, click the setting box buttons and change the video codec options to bitrate 12,000 kilobytes. And I did the 25 frames per second. If we're going to be allowed to do the, I don't see a bit uh, setting button. I don't see a setting. I've already gone next, so if it was ahead of where we are now, I can't go. There's no back button, so I'm not going to. I'm not going to do that. It's not, you know, the bit rate. I said earlier. I said, oh, that's important, but it's important to uh, your streaming service if you were streaming live. It's not that important to record on your desktop, really. And I did do the 25. It was probably in there with the uh, frames per second. And I did use the deinterlace option. So, okay. I always free. I used to know what that was, kind of things, and forgotten the loop. I don't use, don't set it up manually like this. Uh, I actually, by far, prefer OBS Studio. And uh, the only reason I've been looking at everything else lately is to try to find something I can stream live with. And uh, actually, I did find something. Simple screen recorder will do it, but it OBS will save a file to your drive and stream live at the same time, and that way you have a backup file. And, and Simple Stream Recorder will do one or the other. Uh, and it used, took right on 40% of my CPU usage the whole time it was running doing a stream, but it only stays about 17 when it's recording. And OBS, now that I actually didn't, I'd been running on the defaults for a couple of three years, really, Maybe change a little bit here and there, but I figured out recently that if I run use FFmpeg as the encoder and do FLB with MP3 audio, it'll run at about 12 to 15, 12 to 15 percent uh, while I'm recording. Of course, I wasn't streaming, so it may go up when I start streaming. <clears throat> but uh, it, it's it, the streaming is broken right now. I can't can't get it to work. But anyway, uh, so the only thing else I can do. Just go ahead and destination file. So it went right to DLC videos. Oh, it's, oh, it's an old name that was in there. Okay, DLC screencast. I'm going to put GUI so I'll know. Uh, yeah, that's. That's an old name, so I don't want the rest. I do want the MP4, though. Okay, now we're going to hit start. This is going to be... Yeah, I'm only running... Uh, I don't know if it can do it at the same time as... Uh, let's see what's going to happen with the resource thing right now. The OBS is only 11%. VLC is at 17%. And the... Almost certain there's not going to be no audio because from what I've learned, and that, well, yeah, I haven't. We'll see. Because um, I've never been, and when I've done this, I went through this and went through this over and over and got videos recorded. Well, there's my video right there being made right now. Um, but I get no audio. And what I have discovered from, I figured this out because originally I just never never went and tried again, but uh, uh, <clears throat> when I stream from my cameras, and what I, I, know, I don't even have them on right now, but my phone cameras, uh, you have to, uh, it, it's, an, it's an app that does it for you, makes it real easy, called IP Webcam, but it sends VLC streams out on your network, then you pick them up in OBS Studio, and... Um, 
and you need to send, uh, it sends a separate audio and video stream, a wave audio and a, and a video is desktop and we'll do desktop. It doesn't matter. There's no camera on them. You're not going to get a camera, but uh, there's, okay, that one only has video. Does them have audio on them? I think I took it out. Yeah, I took it out of all of them. So I don't have an audio stream to look. But, uh, uh, well, it's dot. Well, I know that it's a wave audio. It's just, it, or to show you, I mean, it's a it's a wave dot wave is what you have to put in there. Uh, you can now. Oh, IP webcam can send them both at the same time from a camera, but it it they get out of sync real bad, real badly, really quick. Uh, and oddly enough, if you stream on one camera with audio and another one with video, and if you're just then you, you'll do better. Uh, it's all. It's none of it's ever going to be just right. It just with the Wi-Fi, it just never works right. But uh, there's too many variables. So I'm going to go ahead and stop my VLC. Where is we? See with it. Came over here somewhere. Okay, so I'm going to stop it and see. You now, if I was uh, viewing that as it was being recorded, it would really be using resource too much. It wouldn't. You couldn't do it for long at all. I couldn't do it for. If I was viewing it, I couldn't do it five minutes probably. Okay, so I'm going to stop it and uh, go ahead and close. Convert. I think it might be finishing. It says converting. That might be finishing up. So I'm not going to. I was fixing to close OBS. I mean, VLC. I don't know if it's uh, still like. Uh, see, a lot of these, uh, a lot of these apps have to uh, <clears throat> converting. I don't remember what it said a minute ago. So I'll just wait on that. Uh, I wanted to play it though. Oh, well, you can do this. You can open it up. You should open it up in another window. Open up. Oh, no, it opened up in the same one. Well, it still won't disturb. Okay, so there it is, but you don't hear me talking. So, so uh, it didn't get any audio. And so that's, you know, useless. <laughs> Um, yeah, and it'll let you fast forward if it, if an MP4 well MP4s won't play at all if an FLV gets interrupted during its encoding or or if the power goes out for, and that would of course interrupt its encoding or anything like that or your machine locks up then it'll play but the fast forward won't work on an FLV but an MP4 won't work at all period uh, so um, okay now I went completely off the rails sidetracked I didn't mean to I was going down to the script uh, I'm still gonna leave that just to see here in a minute to see if it's gonna do anything to oh find out if it said that from the beginning I won't I won't sit till I get down towards the end one right before I cut it off Go down to the end. Yeah, I said converting stream before I stopped it. So that's just what it says. I don't know why it says converting. That really. I'm going to close VLC. Now, or you can. Oh, or you can use these programs there, which is probably where I found Simple Scorder. I found it on one of these. A lot of these are no longer available on this page. I've got you see it's already in my simple screen recorder. That one works and works really well. Uh, so you might want to look into that, or and, yeah, I mean, unless you want to yes, if you want something simple, and you, you're not, you don't know how to do, you never done any of this before, you don't want to learn and more a whole lot about it. Then I think simple screen recorder would be pretty easy. He, um, yeah, I think it would. And there, that's the icon for it right there. Open it because I'm running, recording right. Now. Yeah, now my uh, system's better. Okay, so now here's the script. Go back to the script that we were talking about, and um, here it is. And uh, yeah, okay, I went over the script while I wanted to. I just remember. Uh, so there's no audio, so that's I don't want that. You know, I just for that I'm not going to go back and do an over audio overdub over that I can't follow I can't I can't follow my own desktop videos if there's nothing being said 
So um, what you do here with these, okay, now what you do with these two that I made on that other, with the script, that didn't get converted automatically like they were supposed to, you, you can still convert them in the GUI. This is a cool thing that VLC can do. Now I'll go back, I'm just gonna go to media. I remember this much better than anyway. Media, save and convert. Now, I'm gonna add <clears throat> that, uh, not the one that's silent, but the first one that I did, ring test, temp one. Uh, and then uh, go down here and go show more options. Now I want to play another media along with it. And I want to add that. And there I want to get that WAV file. Since they were recorded exactly at the same time, they'll be synced up. And of course, if you wanted to do subtitles, you could do all that sort of stuff. There's even more options down there. But you don't want to play another another media along with that. Select. Okay, so now I didn't even notice that was there. There's my temp wave. Or it's, well, that's screencast, the year, and the date, and the time is what that is. So, same thing. But of course, that's the. Uh, so what I've got in here is the wave and the MP4, not that MP4 that's silent. I mean, you could do that, but we, what would be the. Okay, now. Um, and just click on save and convert like that instead of dropping doing the drop down. And uh, now what I want is an MP4. I want the it stayed on what I left it on. So put it back. Make sure you pay attention to what it's set on. And um, that de interlace I never use that <coughs> normally. Like I said, I can't even remember what it means. I'm sure it's good for streaming. Now I'm converting so. I don't know. I I used to know the reasons why you would or wouldn't want to use it. Uh, I just can't remember it now. Uh, I can't say why they are going to use it. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the name from right there. And I'll have to change it so that oh, it put it in there for me. Well, I don't want the the wave now. Oh, I want it. Um, Let's see. Convert and save. Now I know that that means uh, um, I don't want. I had the folder in the folder. That would make a folder. <laughs> if you leave that far slash in there, it'll automatically make a folder. Usually, I want VLC screencast same same time and date, but convert and save because that's what. Now it's ready to go, and. Uh, start uh open uh oh what wrong with that video maybe it was uh held up oh it's held up by it's held up by uh OBS, I'm using it right. Uh, yeah, you, okay, so you can't use the H.264 encoder two, twice at once. Uh, I can leave this open and hit play again, and it'll do it. Uh, but I'll have to do it when I'm not recording a video. I'm pretty sure that's what. So, um, <clears throat> I guess I'll just do that. I'll stop here and uh, try it. And, and if it works, I'll come back and report because get a video oh, we did it's gonna be a broken video oh, hey down here just audio. okay trying out a desktop a VLC desktop recording script this is a looks like the same script uh -oh. as the one oh, I there the other day let's see if our audio looks like it's working okay, here. how am I gonna stop this okay this, I can still the converting thing I can still use it I, I, I realized that the other day and I'm going to delete that file right now before I could leave it and overwrite it. I'll just leave it and overwrite it, I guess. Uh, you, sometimes you, one thing it gets confusing, but and the other thing, it, it sometimes that actually causes errors. I'm close to the browser. I, I always need to kind of shut, not use too much resources when I'm making videos. Okay, so I can't do anything but stop. 
uh, all my recorders use uh, H.264, so I'll have to stop the uh, video. Okay, so I'll stop this video. Uh, I'll run that, and then I'll come back and let's say if it works.